Galatium, Galatians 2. Then, fourteen years after, I went up again to Yerushalayim with Barnava, and took Titus with me also. And I went up by revelation, and communicated unto them that Bessara, which I preach among the other nations, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run, or had run, in vain. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Yavani, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Yahusha HaMashiach, that they might bring us into bondage. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the Basara might continue with you. But of these who seemed to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it makes no matter to me. Yah accepts no man's person, for they who seemed to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. But, contrarywise, when they saw that the Besara of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the Besara of the circumcision was unto Kepha, for he that wrought effectually in Kepha to the apostleship of the circumcision. The same was mighty in me toward the other nations. And when Yaakov, Kepha, and Yaukaran, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnava the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was forward to do. But when Kepha was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came from Yaakov, he did eat with the other nations, but when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Yaudim dissembled likewise with him, so much so that Barnava also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the Basara, I said unto Kepha before them all, If you, being a Yahudi, live after the manner of the other nations, and not as do the Yahudim, why compel you the other nations to live as do the Yahudim? We who are Yahudim by nature, and not sinners of the other nations, but knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the Torah, but by belief in Yahusha HaMashiach, as we have believed in Yahusha HaMashiach, that we might be justified by the belief in HaMashiach, not by the works of the Torah. For by the works of the Torah shall no flesh be justified. But if, while we seek to be justified by Mashiach, we ourselves are rather also are found sinners. Is therefore HaMashiach the minister of sin? Never. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I through the Torah am dead to the Torah, that I might live unto Yahweh. I am crucified with HaMashiach. Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but HaMashiach lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the belief in the Son of Elohim, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh. For if justification came by the Torah, then Hamashiach died in vain. 